They say home is not a place, but a feeling. And it'll be hard to feel anything other than utter peace when taken in the breathtaking gardens and pool area of the 7,195,000 rand, three bedroom, four bathroom home in the heart of Bryanston. My name is Chad Viveros and I'll be taking you around South Africa, showing you some of the most spectacular houses that are on sale. And today, I'm taking you with me. Let's go. Coming into this 2,565 square meter home in Bryanston, it's so easy to fall in love with the finishing touches throughout. From the way the wood flooring is laid to the double-heighted vaulted ceilings with exposed wooden rafters, it's so easy to mistake this house as a home in the country. Right now we find ourselves within the living room area which has got ample space to accommodate a large family. On my right hand side we have a wrought iron fireplace that must provide so much ambience in the winter time. Off to my left, we have a guest bathroom with walk-in shower, floating toilet with hidden cistern, and large vanity and mirror. There is also super easy access to one of the two garages within the home. But let's take a look right over there in one of the sitting rooms. Let's go. Coming into the sitting room, you have windows on every single wall, letting in tons of light and air. You also have plantation shutters on the opening doors leading onto your floating patio, so that you can sit back, relax, and enjoy that indigenous garden. Coming out of the sitting room area, across your dining room area, you'll find yourself immediately in your open plan kitchen with varnished wood countertops as well as a five burner gas hob, DeFi oven and DeFi extractor fan. This kitchen has space to handle even the most demanding of meals. There's ample room within one corner of the kitchen to fit a double door fridge as well as saloon style doors leading into a cozy pantry. Within the main part of the kitchen, there's one sink that allows some meal prep, but there is a scullery area with a double sink as well as under counter storage for all of your appliances. Now, leading out of the scullery is another very, very cool feature of this home, and that is your very own private herb garden. Talk about farm fresh. So that concludes the downstairs area of this lovely house, which means, logically, we're gonna have to head upstairs. But in this house, there are two ways to head upstairs. One of them are the stairs. The other one is this very special elevator right here. So while I very apologetically send my cameraman to take those long stairs up to the first floor, you and I are gonna go in this. Let's go. Coming out of this incredibly awesome lift, you end up on the first floor landing, or what I like to call the sky bridge, the mini sky bridge. Walking across this leads you into a second seating area that you can use for whatever fits your bill. Could be a pajama lounge, could be another seating area, could be a normal lounge. But off of this landing, you have access to every single one of the three bedrooms within this house. So let's go take a look at the master suite. Walking into the master suite, immediately you'll notice the cupboards being a divider between your bathroom and your bedroom, which is an incredibly ingenious use of space within the room. Out of the three walls, two of them have windows, providing you ample view of that incredible garden and the greenery surrounding it. Coming through the other half of the bedroom, you'll find more floor-to-ceiling cupboards, 
as well as access to that master suite. But before we head into the master suite, I'd like you to look up and take a look at those exposed wooden beams bringing that country vibe again to the bedrooms. Now the ensuite bathroom has a walk-in shower, a double vanity with a full length mirror, as well as a very interestingly shaped bathtub that I really like and does evoke a feeling of lounging there while looking through that window on the left hand side. It also has a floating toilet with hidden cistern. Coming out of the master bedroom, across the mini sky bridge and that awesome elevator leads you into the second of the three bedrooms. This bedroom also has windows on both sides, providing you ample access to look at that incredible indigenous garden. It has built in cupboards as well as an ensuite bathroom. That ensuite bathroom again has a floating toilet with a hidden system as well as a walk-in shower with window access which must be incredible to have those early morning showers in. Coming out of the second bedroom and heading off to your right leads you to the last but most certainly not least of the three bedrooms within this house. This bedroom would make a perfect study, office space, playroom or as it is currently third bedroom. It also has an ensuite bathroom with a floating toilet with head and cistern, a very very big vanity for you to get ready in the mornings and a walk-in shower with a beautiful view of your driveway and the idyllic street outside. Coming out of the living room area, you find yourself immediately on the double length patio. Up above us, we've got exposed wooden beams with three skylights flooding the area with tons of natural light. Behind me, wrapping around one half of the patio is countertops and the rest of the patio is dominated by 180 degree views of the garden and indigenous flowers throughout. We also have one of the crowning features in this house and that is the freshwater pool which I'd love to show you next. Let's go take a look. Here we are right back where this video began at the pool area and what a spectacularly unique pool this is. The special thing about this pool is it is naturally filtered. As you can see the pool is divided in half with one half of the pool acting as a filtration system for the rest of it which means no HTH, no chemicals, always crystal clear water and you get to experience all of this flora around the left hand side that I feel really brings a sense of nature to something that feels generally so man-made. It is such a unique feature of this house and I love it to bits. From myself, Chad Viveros, and the team at Private Property, thank you so much for joining us on The Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.